So hi folks, this is Lou Martin one more time, and I'm with my new friend here, Orina Agata, who is uh, reached out to me uh, all the way across the world there. Thank you from Hawaii. And she's originally from, from Germany, is that right? Yes, aloha, I'm aloha. from Germany. Aloha and good Abend, yeah, <laughs> all together. So um, yeah, my friend, it's great of you to connect with me. Thank you. And uh, you uh, will get into your work and all of that. Uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about your background, if you would. Yeah, of course. Uh, I love to. And thank you so much to, for having me on your show. Sure. I saw it and then thought maybe I should just talk to you. And I love Ireland. I have been there. Great. And you're just one of the most amazing places on earth. <laughs> yes, I agree with that. So is Hawaii. A big fan of Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Manifestation, I'm going to talk about. <laughs> um, I'm born in Germany. I'm, uh, my dad is German uh, from uh, the Sudeten German, like the really old ones. And uh, my mom is Sri Lankan, so I'm half Sri Lankan. And the last one year I was living in Sri Lanka. I'm born and brought up in Germany, uh, in Bavaria, close to the mountain and lake and fields and forest side, like the fairy tale. Great. Um, now I'm uh, in Hawaii, Big Island. Right. And uh, I'm a multidimensional being, like I'm a star seed. I can see and read energies. That means when you connect with me, uh, I just need permission to work with you and I don't need any uh, discussion. So it's like we're not wasting any time. I just right. see the energies, like in the Akashic Records, I can see the energies, like the frequencies. Right. It's like kind of aura reading. Okay. So my sense is like multidimensional. That means I see, I hear, I taste, I smell. Sure. Sure. Brilliant. So I have, yeah, the whole set. So wow. that's how I work. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, the amazing part is, and I haven't met anyone, to be honest, who, um, like, I can, like, in one session, that's why I have a very specific way of working with uh, my clients like I only work online uh, via either messenger Skype or whatsapp I don't talk with the clients um, because the energy is so intense and when there is a healing process people should be retreating and going inwards because the moment when you talk a lot that's what people always do when they go for healing the energy goes outwards right sure. but the moment I see frequencies which I connect with your soul and your soul tells me what you need. I'm sending out frequencies and it comes to you. And the moment when you talk a lot, it's like clashing kind of. Sure. So that's why um, I always tell people more to go in nature, retreat and let the emotions all come up because the emotions are the key point for any healing. Sure. And I work at the, the, it's very intense. Most of the times people have like, muscle pain or headache and then I guide them through because it's like really old stuff is like stored in the cell memory and that comes out so that means our soul can be more grounded and be more present in the here and now which is very important for yes. star seeds which sure. we're going to talk a little bit later yes work in uh, childhood, past life, ancestral lineage, this dimension, other dimensions, other planets at the same time. That's why I work overnight because it's very strong. Wow, brilliant, brilliant. Well, that was, that was gorgeous, thank you. So yes, please uh, talk about starseed activation and, and anything you like here, my friend. Yeah, um, see, there's, uh, people do, uh, like by now people more talk about activation. And then they do a meditation and then they do frequency, but that's not enough because there's a difference between um, an initiation and activation. An initiation is either here on earth from a master, from a guru, from a teacher who initiates you into a certain frequency. And then you learn a technique like Reiki or planet healing or, um, sure. you sure. know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you learn the technique which everyone learns and then you're doing that, right? right. But it's again very mechanical and it's for star seed quite robotic which we are not. We are very unique and we are masters. Like 
we didn't come to earth like the ascendant masters to leave the body and keep the vibration high we incarnated because we are already masters and we came here to lift up the energy on earth while connecting and increasing the vibration so that means an activation is um just imagine like for example i'm from arcturus venus Sirius, pleiadian and uh, central sun and in my past life i was um, high priestess in lemuria and atlantis so i would work a lot with herbs and i still have that knowledge okay and in the olden days in the pyramids and anywhere else when they did an initiation they did um uh work and detox the body to keep it alkaline but it's not about some people when they do a detox they clear the body fully that it also gets dehydrated but that's not what we are doing like when i work with someone and i do starseed activation it has a reason yes. so i'm asking you a question all right when i plug a toaster into a high voltage plug what happens uh the power is available so you can make toast yeah but it's a high voltage it's not like the normal voltage like when you put oh so it would burn out the toaster it's too much exactly and that's what happens like people take drugs or do some uh plant medicine which is not guided well and it's even not necessary for star seeds i would not recommend it at all and i will explain why sure. <clears throat> we have a body right we have nerves we have meridians and even when we have a kundalini awakening it's very important that our nerves are strong because our nerves and meridians are energy ley, uh, ley lines they call it also the nadis which are connected to the chakras sure and when high energy goes to our system it should just be able to flow, right? But when we have lots of acid or virus or bacteria, it blocks the energy meridian. Yeah. And that's when it gets clumped up and we don't, we get sick because the energy blocks in the body. Sure. Also sure. When we have trauma from childhood, it blocks certain points and the energy can't flow. Sure. And sure. also the gland is just one gland. We have many glands like here, the uh, th uh, thyroid, the third eye, yeah. and uh, ovaries, the testicles. So that's all glands. And they, all of them have to work, not just one. Everyone focus on the third eye, but it's, it's uh, sorry, it's like if I want to clean a house and I'm just cleaning one room instead of the whole house. Sure. So that doesn't make sense, right? Sure. So what I do is I focus on decalcifying all glands, removing all implants and blockages, and making sure that the nerves are strong because let's say I'm from Arcturus and I'm, or let's say you're from Sirius, you have some Sirius and Pleiadian energy. I'm sure you're aware of that. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So let's say you're up there and then you say, hey, Agatha, let's jump down to earth. I'm, 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 I'm ready. I want to help humanity to raise and I want to teach them and guide them. And then I say, okay, let's do that. And then I, I ask you, I say, how do we do that? Because the V frequency is really high up there and on earth it's actually quite low. Sure. So how would we do that? So what we do is we're like, I call ourselves like a biotechnology robot. Like we are the amazing, uh, like we are bio robots with soul and heart, which is unique on earth. We have love and that's very, and we have the free will and that makes us so special. And then, um, we go to source and then we say hey we want to go to earth and uh, how do we get there so you will get something like a blueprint that's actually the real meaning of blueprint that you get a download let's say guilt or fear or whatsoever and you get it it's like which is from yourself not from uh, not a negative one it's a good one in a way because it helps you to come to earth so let's say you get an implant and like a chip of um, Guilt. Yeah. The moment you have guilt in your system, whoops, your energy drops down. Right. And then the family you're supposed to meet attracts you because that ha the family has a certain vibration yeah. and it will balance with the frequency you have now after um, putting that implant in, okay. like positive, positive thing. Yeah. And yeah. then whoops, but then you have all those high frequent soul parts, right? 
So every time you come closer to the atmosphere, to Earth, it splits, it falls off, like soul parts, fragments, it just fall off. And that is when you lose your memory, that's when you forget who you are and your abilities of telekinesis, teleportation, levitation, all those things. Right. It goes. So the okay. moment you incarnate, then people always say, oh, you should help the family. But sorry, that's not our duty. Our duty on earth is actually to stay in our focus in our alignment with our heart mother earth and father heaven they are our real parents and then we let go of the traditional family system that's our duty because yeah. that's when we connect to like i can connect with you like 2020 it's like coming home we are coming home because i connect with you you connect with someone else and we are it's like the real family is meeting they're coming home that's what's happening brilliant the yes like Lemuria, the flame, the holy flame of love, of the Christ yeah. consciousness, yes. no religion, like it's a, a very high knowledge, like Lemur, like Mu here, Hawaii is the yeah. heart chakra and the eye connecting, right. which means I can see from my heart, which is inner knowledge and wisdom. It's yeah. not just a, a, a knowing because I was reading in the books yes. and I learned, you no, know, it's a knowing, a wisdom which comes from inside. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm keeping up with you. You're doing great. I'm loving this. Okay. <laughs> so if you have a question, please ask. So I just want to say that. So now an activation is I'm preparing my body to release all those memories, old imprints from the family when society was putting stuff onto us. And we are so sensitive. We are so amazing empaths that we actually took it all on, on us to be lovable, to be uh, cared for, but we will never be loved for who we are because they would never understand. And that's something which is sad, but at the same time, it's something, the reality and the truth, and we should understand. So an activation means we're bringing all those high frequent soul parts back, removing that blueprint, connecting with Mother Earth and Father Heaven so that we can embrace ourselves and connect and I always say, we are the crystals. We are the crystal grid on earth. The moment I am a light worker, you are a light worker. When I shine and I burn my candle and you burn and you're being a candle and you meet another light worker, that's how you can, like, you know, I say we are the virus. <laughs> so you can like you know, activate that other person, like burning their flame. But we need to do the work also that we clean and cleanse our body from certain imprints. And that's an activation. Sure. We remember we are in a very unique way because your abilities are different from mine. And together we are, we are being a puzzle and we are making it work, which is even more powerful than, you know, having competition and, and, sure. and sure. Uh, trying to control each other and, um, and yeah, trying to be some we are not. So sure. it will be like a bent in. It's like amazing, like a grid. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Well, sweetheart, what's your what's your sense of what's happening uh, right now in terms of the planet and all the all the light workers and star seeds that are being activated? Do you do you have a uh, can you talk about the bigger picture uh, of what you feel is happening right now? Like, there's a saying that in the eye of the tornado, it's always peaceful and quiet. Right. And the same way. When yeah. we connect with our heart, just the center, we are tapping into a frequency of peace and balance and alignment, right? So that means we are, everything is fine. But if out of balance, not grounded, I tap into the frequency of fear. And even earth can be either heaven or hell, sure. right? Sure. If I'm out of alignment, I will be in a place at the wrong time with the wrong people and life will be a mess yeah. if i'm in alignment with myself i'm at the right time with the right people in the right place yeah like i'm in Hawaii, i'm free i can walk around i have food everything is great here yeah yeah if i would have been now this is about manifestation this is the crazy amazing part i was before the airport shut down like say Two weeks time already in October, I had this huge urge that 
I need to leave Sri Lanka, but I was in a huge process of cleansing and really letting go of really old traumatic wounds and abuse and stuff. Sure. And sure. then it was tough and my body yeah. was hurting. It was not yeah. funny at all. Yes. It's really like inside the cells and we think it's our own and it's actually not a part of us. It's from the family. Yeah. And then I could feel this pull that I need to leave and I didn't know where to go because every time I was looking for a flight, it was the wrong time and nor was it um, feeling good. It was feeling weird. And then I was invited to the government of India and they said, Agatha, please come. We invite you. We want you to see a village with children and women and we want you to even run the show and help. Well, and that is such an honor because of the sure. government of India. And I'm, sure. of, course, of course, I would love to. This is like yeah. my ultimate dream. Right. But every time when I wanted to book the flight, it was over expensive. And I was like, right. how come? Right. Then I knew I was supposed to go. So okay. watch the signs. You know, if you don't watch the signs, yeah. and you're, how can your angels help you if you're being stubborn? Yes. So exactly. the heart says yes and your mind says no. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yes, I know that one. Yeah. So then what happened is the day, because I promised I will come, I said, okay. I'm finally booking the flight and always something would come in between. I was not able to book the flight. I met a friend and he said, you know what? I was in Hawaii. I was working there and how I got a book before I went there. And it was like just an alignment. I got a cheap ticket. Da, 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 da. And I was like, oh, wow. I always wanted to go to Hawaii. And if I would have, like, if I'm honest with myself, because most of the times, like, if I, like, if someone comes to you in your life and just, Give to unconditional love without any expectations. How do you feel? Grateful, but surprised. Yes, and you would you we would question it, and you would be overwhelmed because it's like something an energy you you're not used to, which no one ever gave to you. Sure. Well, we're learning this together, my friend. I mean, this is our time of receiving for all of us, you know, and uh, I, so I, I do relate. Yeah, it's a challenge sometimes. And it was like for me too good to be true. But then a voice told me in the morning before booking India flight, um, look how much a flight is to Hawaii. And guess what? Hawaii flight was 30 hours and India was three hours. Guess Cheaper. what happened? Cheaper. Can you believe that? No. <laughs> and then I yeah. knew I booked within an hour. I was like going, I was like, okay. And my heart was like jumping and I saw a picture on Instagram before I booked the flight to Hawaii. Right. And my heart, my soul was like, yeah, that's what I want. And then my head said, no, you have to go to India. You have to be responsible. And my heart said, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I met amazing Kahuna in, in Maui. I'm getting goosebumps. You know what he okay. said? He said, when love calls, you go. Yes, right. Isn't that me? Yes, beautiful. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So I left and then I had this amazing flight. I came here and I met friends. It got connected. I got a car, I got a house, like really cheap because right. Hawaii is quite expensive. Yes. And then yes. one week later, um, the airport shut down and right. I had my friends which were helping me here. So I'm here stuck here in a good way yes because yes I was alignment with my heart yes brilliant brilliant yes i yeah i mean i've been in ireland for 12 years and uh before that i was moving all over the country all over the world uh and uh i've been in the same house for for 12 years and uh it's it's been a, a divine appointment and um you know, as we were talking before we got on here about coping with the virus and the lockdown and all of that, um, you know, we're all being taken care of, uh, you know, because we're here to do a good work. Um, and um, yes, it is all about absolutely, my friend, trusting, following our hearts, being very humble, very honest, and very present in the moments because things change, you know, and we know they, they do. And it's, uh, it's not always the way we expect or the way we have planned, sure. Yeah, and now if I would have been in Sri Lanka, people are, which is crazy, um, two months in a house and they can't go for a walk, nothing. They're inside the house. Yeah, that would and be crazy. Tough. I would have freaked out if I would have been there. Sure, sure, likewise. So, yes, likewise. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, brilliant. Um, you were, uh, sorry, did you want to say something? Yeah. And people in Germany now, they start going on the road, peacefully walking and saying, hey, we don't want to be shut down. Like we don't want to be isolated. We have a will and a free will of like being free. So we want to walk around. Sure. So they're doing peaceful, peaceful demonstrations right now. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm uh, brilliant. Um, I, you know, I, you're my second interview today with someone who, I, you know, like yourself, uh, is very spiritually awake and very powerful. And, uh, and it's, just, it's just a joy for me to connect with you. You were, you were mentioning earlier, uh, the first time we talked, that you've been awake your whole life. And that's, that's quite an, uh, an amazing story. Can you tell people a little bit of what that was like for you? Yeah, I feel like crying now. Okay, well, that's all right. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, people always say they want to wake up. And so many people on the whole planet, they always say, oh, they want to be a leader, they want to be a coach, they want to be a healer, but they actually don't know even what it means. Like people can go and buy, like I'm a great key grandmaster, right? And I got it in mysterious ways. Like every time I got an initiation, um, I found money and good, amazing things happened. And I almost got it for free. But I know so many people, they're not even masters. They're not even teachers. They just suck your energy. They're energy vampires. They're like reptiloids. Sure. It's amazing. They look in your face. They talk amazing. But they take your money and they take your energy. And you're being happy about it. And this is something which I can see and it hurts me. Sure. And even when I was small, when I was like born, I remember things before I was one year old and my brother and my sister would always say, oh yeah, you're crazy because how would you remember? I said, I do remember. Right, right, right. And then I tell them and they forgot so many things because sure. they're traumatized childhood. Yeah. But yeah. I, I remember going to the kindergarten and I, I knew what they think of me and I knew what they thought. And it was not me reading their mind. It was just, I got their vibration and then I knew and I saw and I felt like an outsider. And I know most of the star seeds, they would, that's the funny part besides crying. <laughs> okay. That's usually that's the way it goes. Tears, then laughter. That's my experience. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And then I would look at my parents and when we had an argument, I would cry and I would look at them and say, Hey, you don't love me. And you know, my parents, you adopted me. And then, you know, we would go to school and say, you know, I am adopted. This is typical Starcy. Like we don't feel home with our parents. We think that we are adopted and we look at the stars and then we say, oh, I want to go home. Sure. And I used yeah. to do that. I would sit on the road looking at the stars and I would say, hey, I want to go home. And I knew the planetary constellations without knowing the name, but I, I saw it. And right. awakening me. We see the truth, we see the reality, what's going on. And sometimes we think we are crazy. You're not crazy because the reality shifts. And then you see things from a big dimension, from a bigger place. Mm -hmm. And then you see how people are. And it's like, it's always between the head and the heart. And it's right, like, right. you always have to adjust yourself. This is sure. like most important. Sure. Uh, and then coming back to the starseed activation, so it's like a process of like uh, four or five weeks. Okay. And it brings in the stability to know who you are because it's unique gifts, right? And that makes you more strong. Okay. It's like a remembering. And that is like, you will remember that you even knew from childhood. It's just that it was just pushed out hold away because you wanted to fit in sure sure like, you very childhood like when you had a certain ability or did you have an awakening how was it for you um well i mean i that bless your heart i mean my, uh, you know my heart goes out to you my friend for going through all that and 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 managing all that you know uh just really i celebrate your your strength you know uh of getting through all that because it's uh it's it's very tough uh, um, you know, I can imagine what it was like. Um, I mean, um, I always felt I had a purpose that was different from other people's purpose, you know, and I felt like I was going to find out what that was at some point. 
And then um, quite honestly, uh, uh, so my dad was, was killed when I was 17. That was my uh, trauma, he was murdered. And um, then um, uh, I, I spent my 20s uh, working in bookshops and, and, and smoking weed. And then uh, I had a, a Kundalini awakening when I turned 30, uh, the summer of the Harmonic Convergence in 1987. And um, that, was my, that was my before and after experience. So before that, I wasn't really sure that spirit was real. I was meditating when I was 16. I, I got to sit with Krishnamurti, who was a world famous a uh, spiritual uh, teacher that a lot of people studied. Um, so some amazing things happened, but it didn't really, the light didn't really turn on for me until 1987, and then it never turned off. Yeah, because people are ready now, we are ready. And yeah. like I was awakened, like I'm born 1980, right? and people were not meditating. And I grew up in a family, we did meditate, we did yoga, we did Ayurveda, and we are not allowed to talk about it. So people would say it's a sect. It was a very tough time because even I grew up in a village being with my skin color. Like in Germany, I'm the dark one and in Sri Lanka, I'm the white one. So it's crazy. And most of the stars are also going to be from different places. Different sides. We are all being everything. I always say, be the children of the world. Sure. And Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, bless you. Um, yeah. Uh, I lived in, uh, in Austria for a year. And uh, after coming from out of uh, Los Angeles for 30 years, I, I found it to be the most racist, classist, sexist uh, place I'd ever been. Uh, and uh, it was like a crash course in the old world. And uh, it wasn't uh, until I came to Ireland that I started to, uh, to, to see another way to live in Europe. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. But yeah. people think like Germany is so open now. They changed so much. Right. They're so loving. Yes. Austria. Yes. Also, everyone yeah. changed a lot because the new generation, they're all star seeds and they really, they're making a change. Right. Like when I started, like, you know, my, I'm coming from this crazy family, like my mom can't hear and speak, my dad can't hear, but he spoke six languages. Right. And he was born, he was born 1929. And he, when he was 16, he went to UADSSR when it was like Soviet Union and it wasn't even allowed to travel there. He just you know, he, he, he took his backpack and he just left. And no one knew where he went and he went there and he managed. You know, he always found his way. Wow. And when he would come back, he would say he's the crazy one because why would he travel? And then when I started doing that, like say 40 years, no more, 50 years further down, and I would go to India and there was like an SMS would be like more than uh, two euros. So you wouldn't send an SMS because it was really expensive. Right. And there was no WhatsApp, no internet. People had to go to the STD booth and sit in the, you know, do you remember those computer sure. places? Yes. Yeah. yes, yes. We had that in Austria when I was there. Yeah, yeah. So now it's so easy. I always say now it's like nothing if you travel. But sure. those days it was me. And even that time, people said I'm crazy, and now it's just it has become normal. Sure. So there have always been and will always be people who are ahead of everything, who are the crazy ones. So they are so actually tough and strong and amazing because they just follow their heart and they lead the path. Yes, that's right. That's right. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, uh, yeah, I'm so happy to connect with you, my dear. I'm so happy to know you and that you're out there. Uh, do you want to tell people where they can find you and, and uh, connect with you to work with you? Sure. Um, I have a YouTube channel. It's called Arena International. Um, please follow, subscribe, watch it, share it, because I always say, help me to help you to help others, because it's about self-empowerment. And I don't talk to make money. I talk really, I mean it from the bottom of my heart, because I know what it means to go through a difficult process. And I support people who are psychic to be in their own power. It's very important and take over your power. I have a question for you that's been really yeah. important. Last one. Sure. If you have a sharp knife and you have a small child, will you give the sharp knife to your child? No, of course not. Why not? Because they are not able to take responsibility for it. They wouldn't know how to handle it. They don't does know. It mean you, does it mean you don't love your child? Of course, that's, that is loving your child. Exactly. And that's what it is. If you have a power inside of you, 
a power which is so strong that it can move planets and the world and change dimensions and timelines. You don't give it to someone who is not in alignment with love. And that is love to setting, to set healthy boundaries. Yes, yes. So, yeah. yes, so that's what it is. You find me on YouTube, Arena International, um, or my webpage, maybe if you don't mind, if you put yes. it uh, sure. below, sure. like uh, www.arenafola.com. Right. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> thank you. You're so welcome, honey. You're so welcome. Well, I hope this is the first of many chats we'll have together, and uh, I'm just delighted to uh, to know you. And thank you for thank you for reaching out. Bless your heart. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you darling. All right. So uh, enjoy. Aloha. Your, Aloha. Enjoy your day in uh, Hawaii. Um, Slancha, they say here in Ireland. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk again soon. Thanks again, and and please keep in touch. Yeah. Yes, of course. I love to keep in touch with you. Thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. Bye. You're very welcome. Yes. All right. Peace and blessings. Bye for now. Cheers.